This video is going to be a little different than we've seen over the past week. There have been many articles and other videos that have appeared explaining about OCR or optical character recognition and arguments going back and forth about what would or would not have happened if Obama's document was scanned with an OCR function still on, how layers were created. Well, what I'm going to show you in this video, you don't need any special software to see. You don't have to understand about layering. You don't have to understand about optical character recognition or any of that. What I'm going to do is take terms from a genuine 1961 birth certificate. Now this one on the left, it was a photocopy that was made in 1966, but the upper portion is still just a photocopy of a genuine 1961 birth certificate of one of the twins that were born one day after Obama at Capilani Maternity and Gynecological Hospital. And so what I did is put both of these documents side by side, did my best to get them at the same height and the same width, and then what I did is use the cloning tool from Photoshop and just copied terms from the left to the right, from the left and to the right, copied the State of Hawaii, Certificate of Live Birth, Department of Health, file numbers, some other terms that were common on each of these documents so that we can compare the two. This is going to be a little blurry, but I think It'll be clear enough so that we can see that this is definitely a fraudulent document. Again, the brown areas is text that's been cloned onto this document from a genuine 1961 Hawaiian birth certificate. Now there is some curvature in the original image here. The state of Hawaii claims that it was copied out of a book onto security paper. But if we look at the other characters here where there is no curvature in the paper, you can clearly see that the fonts or the characters on of in Hawaii are different than on the genuine certification of live birth from the Nordic twins in that it's taller on Obama's. The same in the middle here with certificate of live birth. You can see how the letters lean a little bit to the right in the word certificate of live birth, whereas the characters are different on Obama's certificate. You notice the C leans forward almost like a C in a comic book, whereas the C on Obama's is straight up and down and more of a circular shaped. Over to the right, Department of Health. You can see that the genuine text is actually longer than what appears on Obama's. Obama's is shorter, more compact, but the letters are heavier and they're taller. Now we look down to file number, we can see the 151 appears to be very close, but you'll notice the description there, file number in the brown area is heavier on the genuine document and it's not on Obama's. Obama's lettering is actually smaller 
for the word number and larger for the word file. The stamp that was used is clearly a different stamp. The numbers aren't the same. There's a huge difference between the ones and the sixes on Obama's document compared to the genuine document from 1961. If you look below this at the time, you can see what I'm talking about. There's a huge period after the P, and then the M drops down. The same on Obama's. There's a huge period there that almost runs right into the M, but the period be after the P is about five times the size of the period after the M on both of them. And that's why I say we can safely assume these were done on the same typewriter if they were both genuine. You can see the spacing of the letters on Honolulu are different here. If we look at Capilani, notice that even though there is a slight curvature in the paper there, that on the genuine document, Capilani starts later than Capilani did on Barack Obama's document, and yet it finishes in the same spot. Again, with the word maternity, the M is spaced just a bit after where Obama's word maternity starts, but they both end in exactly the same spot. The fonts for the symbol for and are different on both documents. Gynecological, Obama's G is a bit more square than the G on the genuine document. The L's on Obama's document are thicker than the word that appear in the word gynecological on the official certificate as well as the word hospital you can see again how thick the l is in the word hospital on obama's compared to the lettering the typing on the genuine document we compare honolulu again here to Obama's and we can see how the genuine document the typewriter actually took more space to type that word Honolulu. Oahu there's a bigger space between the O and the A on the genuine document than there is on Obama's. Again over here the word Honolulu once again is longer on the genuine document than it is on Obama's. There is actually a error on the genuine document. Instead of typing the name Hawaii, where it says type county in space, they actually typed Honolulu, Oahu, rather than typing the name of the state, they put the name of the island there. This goes to show how uncareful the people are at the Hawaii Department of Health. The word Caucasian, again you can see that the typewriter on the original document, the word was longer and it had a different shaped C, different shaped letters on the genuine document. The same can be seen here with the word none, how it is so clear on the genuine document and yet on Obama's it's already breaking up at this magnification different letters again. Finally we get down to the bottom the hand stamps and we can see that the August on Obama's date stamp is larger than what was used on the genuine document and the 1961 is larger than what appeared on the genuine document. The same can be shown 
over here on the right how the lettering is different on the two dates and you can see how much different the numbers are different on the genuine stamp as opposed to what appeared on Obama's. You've got to remember this is supposed to be a scan of a 1961 birth certificate from Hawaii. They're claiming they found this bound in a book in a file and all they did was scan it onto a piece of security paper and made no other alterations. If that was true you wouldn't see the differences between these two forms. These people were born one day apart. The twins birth was registered actually three days later and strangely enough they were issued certificate numbers that are lower than Obama's. If Obama was born before them and his birth was registered three days earlier than theirs, why did he receive a higher certificate number? So there you have it. You can easily repeat this at home. This document is a fraud. Thanks for listening.